Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how I create this perfume bottle. Okay, let's start it first of all, your blender, new file, general. Press A to select everything, X to delete, go to the front view. Press Shift A, mess, just add a cube, tap to the edit mode. Press S, X to scale it on the X axis, just like this. And press Ctrl R to add a loop cut, put it in the middle over here. Press S, X, scale it on the X axis, just like this. And go to the right view. Press A to select everything. Press S, Y, scale it on the Y axis only. Select this. Press 2 in your keyboard to change it to the edge mode. Select this edge. Press Ctrl V. Increase the segment. Select this. And go to the top view. Press Ctrl R. Put in a loop cut. Put over here. I'm using 13 segment. Press Ctrl R again. To add another loop cut over here. Select this. 5 segment. And press 3 on your keyboard to change to the face mode. Share all of this face, right click, look tools, circle. But if you don't have the option, just let me undo this. Just go to the edit, preference, just type here, look, check this look tools, and save your preference, and select all of this face again. Right click, look tools, circle. Now press I to insert, insert like this, go to the front view, press E, Z, Extrude on the Z axis, like this, go to the top view again, and press X to delete the face. Next is, press A to select everything, press Shift D to duplicate it, Alt Z to see the X-ray view, press S to scale it, just scale it inside like this, yep, like this, and select this edge, go to the front view, click over here, snap with, change it to the vertices, press G, Z, Hold control, snap to this edge, and just select one of this edge at the outside, press L and H to hide. We need to fix something inside. Press Ctrl R to add a new look cut. Just put it over here and select all of this edge. Press X, delete the vertices. Select this edge, hold control, select this edge, hold shift. Select this edge again and hold control. Select this edge. Right click, loop tools, bridge. Press Alt Z, press Ctrl R, add a new loop cut. Make it 5 loop cut, just like this. Press A, M, match by distance. Get the front view. Alt Z to see the X ray view. Select this vertices. Turn on your professional editing, like click here. Press G. Z, move it on the Z axis, just like this, yep, press 2 on your keyboard, go to select, select sharp edge, unselect this edge, press ctrl D, bevel it, like this, ok, now press A to select everything, press Shift D to duplicate it, press P, selection to separate them. We're gonna use this duplicate as a liquid inside, press Alt H, tap to the object mode, and name this liquid, and this cube, name is bottle, tap to the edit mode, select sharp edge, except this edge, and this edge, press Ctrl B, bevel it. Just like this. Okay. Press Ctrl 2 on your keyboard to edit subdivision modifier. Right click, shade smooth, tap to the edit mode. Press Ctrl R. Just put a new loop cut over here. Select this and select this edge. This edge. Press F to fill. Select this edge. F to fill everything. And select all of this edge again. Press Ctrl B. Bevel it. Just like this. And for the liquid, tap to the edit mode. Alt Z to see the extra view. Press 1 in your keyboard to change it to the vertices mode. Press Ctrl R. Add a loop cut over here. And select all of these vertices. Press X, delete the vertices. Select all of this edge. Press F to fill. Press Ctrl B to bevel it. Just like this. Okay. Next is press Shift A 
mess at the circle, move your silver up here, press S to scale it down, just like this, press E to extrude, extrude on the Z axis, like this, then press E again, S to scale it, scale it like this, press E again, Z, extrude on the Z axis, like this, press E to extrude, S to scale it, scale it like this, and press F to fill. Press Ctrl R to add a new loop cut. Just like this, I'm using 10 loop cuts. Tap to the object mode, press C, A, mess, and circle. Just make it like 16. Press R, X, rotate it 90 degree. Press G, Z, move your silver up here. S to scale it down. I'll Z to see the X-ray view. Scale it like this. Go to the top view. G, Y. Move your silver over here. Press Shift Z to see the wireframe. Click your new circle. Adjust your circle. Move it up like this. Okay. Just make sure it's right on the middle. Now, Shift Z again. Select this object. Tap to the edit mode. Go to the mesh. Knife project. Okay. Tap to the object mode, select this object again, back to the object mode, and press 1 on your keyboard. We need to fix these vertices. G twice, slide. Over here, G twice. And this one, G twice twice just merge them over here just do something like this okay press a m merge by distance okay I'll see to see the x-ray view press ctrl r to any look at just put over here and do the same at the top. Control R, new loop cut. Just like this. Alt C to back to the solid mode. Just click over here, G to join. Over here too, G to join. And press A to select everything. Go to the mesh, symmetrical. And over here, change it to plus to minus. Now, Press 3 on your keyboard, select all of this face. Select everything at the circle. Press I to insert. Insert like this, press X, delete the face. And go to the edge mode, select this edge, this edge, and this edge. Control B to bevel it. Just like this. Tap to the object mode. Press Ctrl 2 to edit subdivision modifier. Right click, shade smooth. Back to the edit mode. Select this edge. Press E to extrude. Extrude on the Y axis. Extrude it like this. Click over here. Ctrl B. Just bevel it a little bit. Okay. Select the circle. Tap to the edit mode, press E to extrude, as to scale it, scale it inside like this, and press F to fill, press I to insert, just insert like this again, go to the face mode, select all of this face, and press Alt E, extrude face along normal, extrude it back over here, just like this, and select this face again, press I to insert, just insert like this. Alt E again to extrude face along normal. Extrude it back here. And go to the edge mode by pressing 2 on your keyboard. Press Alt. Click here. Select this edge. Press E to extrude. Y to extrude on the Y axis. Just like this. 
Go to the select, select sharp edge, control B, bevel it, tap to the object mode, press control 2 on your keyboard, to add the subdivision modifier, right click, shade smooth, press G, Y, move it back here, press S to scale it, just a little bit like this. Okay, something like this. We need to add more details, press Shift A, mesh, add a circle, just use 16 vertices, move your, press G, Z, move your circle over here, tap to the edit mode, as to scale it, Alt Z to see the X-ray view, just scale it like this, press E, Z, extrude on the Z axis, just like this, press E again, Z, just like this, as to scale it down, Press F to fill, and press I to insert, just insert like this, press E again, Z, extrude and the Z axis, extrude it down here, with the front view, press E again, Z, Z axis, as to scale it, like this, select all this edge, press Ctrl B, bevel it, over here, Control D, bevel it, and this edge, the sharp edge, Control B, just bevel it, select this edge, press I to insert, insert like this, Alt D, extra the face along normal, extra it inside like this, just like this, press X, delete the face, tap to the object mode, press slash on your keyboard. Alt Z to see the X-ray view, add a modifier, we need to add a solidify, this is the thickness inside, like this, check even thickness, ok, press Ctrl 2 to add a superficial modifier, shade smooth, now press slash again on your keyboard, press Shift A, curve, add a bezier, press RX, 90 degree, and press R, minus 90 degree, as to scale it, just like this, press G, Z, move it up here, and go over here, tap the data, geometry, and over here, dip, hold shift, and just increase the thickness, just like this, and press G, X, and adjust your, adjust this object, maybe like this, G, X, like this, okay, we need to scale it down, I guess like this we need to do the cup press shift a mess this are a cylinder press gz move your cylinder up here as the scale it just move it up here press ctrl a apply the scale tap to the edit mode i'll see to see the x-ray view select this edge press gz move it down here just like this and select all of this edge press ctrl b bevel it just like this right click Shade out the smooth. I guess we are done with the modeling. Let's go to the texturing. But first, just go to the shading tab over here and go to the render property. Change the render to cycle. Move down here. Color management. Change this to filmic and change it to high contrast. Go to the render view over here and click here. Uncheck this. Just go to the front view. Click this object. New material. Turn down the roughness. Transmission. Increase the transmission. Just like this, maybe we need a little bit roughness, just 0.1. And we need a noise texture, press Shift A, search for noise texture. Click over here, we need another node again, Shift A, search bump, click here, connect the vector to high and normal to normal, and normal to normal, click on your noise texture node, press Ctrl T. If you can do that, just go to the edit, preference, type here, just not wrangle, install this add-ons, save your preference, you can click on your noise texture node, press Ctrl T, disconnect over here, and click this object to the vector. We need to increase the scale, maybe like 300, and turn down the strain just by 0 0.005. Okay, just like that, just name it glass, and for the liquid, new material, turn down the roughness, just make it zero. Transmission, increase the transmission, just change the color, maybe like this, 
we need to rescale our liquid, press S, just scale it a little bit. And over here, this new material, just turn on the roughness, increase the metal just like this, and make it a little bit gold. Okay, just like this, and name this gold. Just hide this, do the same over here. Just use the same material, and for this part, this new material, turn down the roughness, just name it plastic maybe. Transmission, increase the transmission, not to full, maybe just make it 0.9. And this one, just use the plastic material. Over here too, maybe plastic material, and click new material, turn on the weight, increase the roughness, just like this. Okay, that's it. Don't forget to save your project.